confetti club it is pixie this is jill welcome back it is time for a travel vlog this is my first time traveling by plane for like a big proper vacation trip since uh before the pandemic so i hope you're as excited as we are this was a five day trip to montreal i flew in from fredericton and my mom flew in from charlottetown and we just met in montreal the main aim of our trip was to see My Chemical Romance, but we also did a lot of really cool thrifting and sightseeing and saw a ton of cool art. And this is just a really fun, colorful, joyful vlog that I really think you guys will enjoy. So yeah, grab a snack and come along with us. Hello, Confetti Club. It is our first full day in Montreal. Boop -ly -boop -ly -boop -ly -boo. I arrived yesterday, but I was just friggin' exhausted. There was like some not fun just travel mishaps, and I ended up two hours later than I expected, but I did make it on the flight. I fully almost missed the flight. I'm sure I'll voice over that at some point. Um, but yeah, we're here. Um, I have like a terrible difficulty swallowing sore throat thing that's really annoying, but it's not COVID, I tested negative, and I'm not infectious. Um, it's just horrible. <laughs> it feels horrible. It was in my ears and now it's back in my throat. <gasps> There's a bear on my shoulder, I love him. But it's okay, I'm drinking another lovely tea. Um, I'm here with my mama. My mama just went out um, to get some groceries because we have this whole ass kitchen. <gasps> So yeah, I really miss traveling with my mom. The last time my mom and I traveled together, it was also to Montreal in 2019 um, to see Muse. And now we're here to see MC. I can't even say that without literally screaming. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited for a pixie travel vlog. It's been a long time. And these are some of the videos that people often say are the ones they rewatch all the time. Usually the Japan ones, but uh, don't have as much access to Japan right now in many ways. So, come with me to the real mountain to see some real chemical romance. There's a huge friggin' balcony. Holy frick. Like, like so large. So very large. I could run laps around here. I don't know why that's the sound I make when I open and close the door. But look at the view! So pretty, pretty, pretty. Yay. There, look, you can see how long it is. Whoa. Get out the slip and slide ASAP. One of my favorite things about Montreal is that there's so many big murals everywhere. It's definitely like the artsiest city. I was saying, I think Montreal is my favorite Canadian city. I've been to Vancouver and Toronto and obviously Fredericton and Halifax and Charlottetown. I think that's it. Oh, Edmonton. But I love Montreal. Montreal is my favorite city. So after my mom got back with groceries, we hit the town just for a little bit and we did a bit of roaming around. I was really, really overjoyed with the color everywhere. There's a ton of stuff all over the city that is painted these beautiful like 70s pastel pop hues with beachy themes and like flower power 70s themes. There is a lot of beautiful stuff in this vlog that I was just so excited to film. Yeah, whoever did like the city of Montreal graphic design mood board scheme for this summer, you're my hero. We stopped for lunch somewhere and I think I got he hymned by the man at the t desk. And then my mom and I also hunted for a puzzle and while on our puzzle hunt, we ran into a lot of really cute jelly cats. I love jelly cats so much. None of these lovely little folks came home with me, but just appreciate them. And look at the pumpkin. This pumpkin is unreal. The only thing I bought this day was this little pipe because uh, the bong that I brought in my suitcase broke. It was shattered when I opened up my suitcase. So that sucks. Boo, don't be scared, I'm in drag. <laughs> Before we head any further into the vlog, I wanna give a big thank you to Care of for supporting the channel again. Care of is a subscription service that ships high quality vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every month. They have a lovely little quiz that doesn't take very long to do that helps you sort out exactly what you need, what can benefit you, what areas you might be lacking in a little bit. So you don't need to know a ton about vitamins or anything, you just need to know about you and your habits. 
Care Up has really been a great and easy addition to my daily routine. It really helps me get in some vitamins that I'm maybe missing in my daily diet. And it's just so very convenient. Look at that. How could I forget her? Your daily doses come in these adorable little compostable film packets that also have your name on them and a cute little daily quote. I've definitely noticed differences in my nail strength and my hair health when I take my care of regularly. And over time, if things like your lifestyle habits or diet change, you can always retake the quiz and have a nice fresh updated batch that's more tailored to where you're at, wherever you're at in life. I've definitely had several things change, so yeah, my packs are a little bit different than they were like a year ago, and she's helping me along great. We are best friends. Another big reason why I know I can trust Care of is because their ingredients are always backed by the latest science, so you know you can feel good about what you're putting in your body. So yeah, you guys can head to the link in my description and use my code PIXIE50 to get 50% your first order of Care of. It's really, really great. It's been a great addition to my daily routine, and I think you guys would get a lot of benefit out of it for realsies. So yeah, head on down, and thanks again to Care of for supporting the channel. The second day of our trip actually ended up being one of my favorite like vacation trip days I have ever had, especially with my mom. It was a beautiful sunny day. We were so lucky with the weather the whole trip. So I spent some time this morning just getting ready, laying out all my jewelry, laying out some outfits, doing my makeup, and really just taking my time and relaxing. I have a couple of outfit options. These are technically pajama pants, and I don't know if the world is ready for this or if they'll get it. I feel like I want to do a cool photo shoot with that, but maybe not just like walk around Montreal. I think I'm actually gonna go watcha and then watcha. Yeah, I think that's the outfit. I know I wore this on the plane, but it's just so comfy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think, mom? Yeah. Ooh, here's my mom's fit. Mom fit check. Ooh. Yes. Business sheet. He's having breakfast. I should actually eat his breakfast, but but I made him a little booster seat. Oh, he's, uh, he's been keeping care of it for you. And then we headed off on the subway. So the motive of today was thrifting and cat cafe. Since I've gone fast fashion free, um, my trips with my mom look a lot different. We used to do a lot of shopping, a lot of mall crawling, a lot of, you know, just like clothes shopping. And obviously my mom still really enjoys that. So on the previous day, I followed her around to a lot of cool places and helped her pick out some outfits and, you know, mold around like that. But now today is the day where I can actually buy things. Why are the pylons like the absolute cuntiest shade of magenta? Look at them go. Diva. We visited one, two, three, four, I think five different thrift stores and they were all up around this same street area. I'll flash the list of them here and the little Google Maps up on the screen in case anyone's curious. But yeah, my favorite spot for the vibe was definitely Eva B. This one seems to be quite popular and it's really just such a beautiful, artsy, curated, interesting experience inside. There's also a cafe that has a bunch of vegan stuff. And yeah, they didn't seem to mind me filming. I was very openly filming all the beautiful, interesting things and no one stopped me. So that's also a major plus. There was clothing and like random toys, a ton of suitcases and ties and just art absolutely everywhere you look. We didn't end up buying anything from here, but it was just so, so fun to look around and just really lovely to be in there. Someone mended this with love or just decorated it with love. Another really, really cool secondhand thrifty store that we checked out was called Cul-de-Sac. This one felt like a bit more of a standard like Urban Outfitters if it was a thrift store kind of vibe, but they had a lot of really, really cool clothes, colorful things, pinky things, a ton of really, really cool patterns. And the clothing was definitely curated with a great eye and a lot of care that made it feel like a very fashionable, cool experience. Again, I didn't buy anything in here. I kind of really wanted to, but it was a, t a tiny bit pricey, not crazy, but you know, I didn't need any of it that bad. 
Oh yeah, this place we just stumbled by because we saw the sign outside and it said like vintage, whatever. We were like, okay, cool. Had this extremely cool stripey like Nickelodeon YTV zone staircase. This place had a ton of American pop culture stuff, figures, cartoons, and a lot of rework clothing, a lot of streetwear stuff. And there was a little curtain that you could peek behind and there was like a big sewing room with a ton of thread so it looks like they do upcycling or some sort of sewing in there which is obviously the coolest thing ever we are in a very yellow restaurant yum look at her squigglies what? Another thing that made this day so cool was all of the street art. Like I mentioned before, Montreal is just crawling with art and murals and really, really interesting things to look at everywhere. And this street was the coolest street. Really cool storefronts, really cool murals, really cool people. Oh, this is my favorite mural I've seen so far. Look at the colors. Oh, and they're wiggly squiggly. <laughs> I have found my place. <sighs> this street is so colorful in particular. My shoes are comfy, not as fashion forward shoes today, but look. What? And after all of that meandering, we stopped at the hut. The hat cafe. Everyone wears a hat. And after all our meandering around, my mom and I stopped at this cat cafe. It's on the same street and it has lots and lots of lovely kitties, cute things on the menu. I ordered a happy cat lemonade. Oh yeah, the title of the store is just the happy cat in English, by the way, which is very cute. And yeah, I sipped my lemonade. I followed some cats around. I filmed them. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. I taste like homemade lemonade. It's frothy. I like a froth. He's chosen you. Whoa. <gasps> he walked right away from me, right over to you. He's chosen you. Oh, 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 he's popular. Hello. I see you. Are you sweet? I like you. That's a cash register cat. Oh, you have their names in the room. <laughs> I love this one. Oh. Oh, Papa, he was here. Firefly. Firefly. Oh. oh, that one's snoozing oh. over in the window. Luna. That's Luna. I love that they have little, like, Tinder bios. They have little yeah. Tinder bios. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I take your order? Can I take your order? What would you like? Are you hungry? Can I take your order? Airbnb is angelic. It's so nice. I want to stay here every time I come to Montreal. There's a beautiful beam of light shining upon me. I guess the sun isn't part of the Airbnb, but the windows are! It's nice. <laughs> the next day was the concert. My mom and I went out in the morning and did a little bit more crawling around. I tried on a couple fun little outfits just for fun. This store is called Simon's. I was frantically Googling while my mom was looking at stuff, literally seeing like, where is this stuff made? Is it even vaguely ethical? Some of it looks greenwashy, like what's going on? And I think I came to the conclusion that one of their lines, the Twic line, is made ethically, but it was still kind of a question mark, so I didn't get anything. But I did end up trying on these little numbers, just for the fantasy. These hurt me. I just saw these. I was right over here and I only just saw these. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. And then yeah, once we got home, we got all ready for the concert, had a little pre-concert nap, and then it was time for like the craziest bucket list experience of my life. I am still kind of in disbelief that this happened. Um, I can't stress to you enough how much this has been on my bucket list and how much we like mourned the loss of the opportunity. Sorry, this is dramatic. When My Chemical Romance broke up, it hit me like a truck that I could have seen them and I didn't. I know that's privilege. I know that's not a real problem, but my little feelings were so strong and seeing this band in concert meant so much to me. 
um, it was truly magical. It was truly magical. Um, it was mostly me, and then when the concert started, mostly Jer, um, just soaking it in and living that moment. And it was transcendent. It was amazing. I can't, I can't express it enough. The opening band was really good. They were really was good. Awesome. I love them. Enjoyed. Water. Very, parks. very highly recommend. Very enjoyed. Rocky. Yes. And then we're just waiting. Good warm up act. We are warmed up and ready. And that's all I have for you guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this travel vlog as much as I enjoyed making it and editing it. Montreal is so beautiful and I had so much fun. And yeah, now that things are a tiny bit more back to normal, I think we'll have some more opportunities like this in the future. So yeah, look forward to the next one, just like I will. And I love you guys so, so, so much. I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one's over. Bye.